it's Stephanie Green living here and it's garden day. So I am just showing you what my current situation looks like. Pretty sad. <laughs> and I am going to show you what I am going to do. So I picked up some of the soil conditioner and I picked up um, three bags of this organic garden soil with organic fertilizer. And in case you can't tell, I have one, two, three, four, five, six raised beds. And um, I probably didn't buy enough, but you do what you can do. And so I got four soil. So I got three of the organic soil. And then I got one of the conditioner here. So I'm just going to get the soil and the conditioner going and then we can go ahead and get started and just in case you can't tell i have six beds so i have one two three four five six hi it's Ebony green living here and i'm so excited because i just came back from visiting my friends Christy and Matt Larkin over at Muddy Acre Farms here in Whiteford, Maryland, Harford County. And these are some of the goodies that I brought back home. So I'm so excited to share them with you. I got some turnips and I got some kale. And then here I've got a couple different types of lettuces. I'm so excited about them. I've got some cucumbers. I've got some mint. I've got some more lettuces. I've got tomatoes. I've got peppers. I've got watermelon. Mm, I've got some tomatoes already. I've got zucchini. So I've just got a lot of goodies here and I just wanna encourage you guys, um, if you live local, to check out their farms. Again, it's Christy and Matt Larkin over at Muddy Acres Farm here in Whiteford, Maryland, but they also are at the farmer's market on Saturdays. So check them out. Make sure you tell them that Christy or Ethnic Green Living sent you there. All right. And here I am about two weeks later, give or take, and I'm just giving you an update on my tomatoes and on my zucchini. This one right here is just not going so big at all. Um, as far as my blueberries go, you can see there are just a few that are forming right here. And then over here for my lettuces, you can see my spinach is growing well. Um, you just see the other lettuces that I have here. Right here you see that my watermelon has grown so big. And look over here. And then lastly, but not least, I have our peppers and cucumbers so everything's getting really big and what I want to do is just have a few on the bench and the rest just in this little spot this little spot and on the side so I can just plan on fixing my side and this walkway here and just something on the bench all right Okay, I'm back with part one of my update. So we have not weeded or anything yet, but I just went ahead and stuck the flowers on the bench. And I went ahead and arranged them, orange, pink, and yellow on this side and on this side. I went ahead and took all the extra stuff that was here out. And so I can either take this pot fill it up with goodies and stick it back right here in the middle and get all the weeds out or I can do like I did for the other ones and I can just stick it here I think this bigger one will be better and I think it would be really good if I went back and got a perennial like one of the two that I have these here these two grow back every year and then I just fill it in with um, some pretty annuals so I'm thinking what I'm gonna do again is get one of these and stick it in here for this side so we don't have to worry about that. It can just come plain and simple. And if I do, in fact, decide to take that route, then I'll take this one here and I'll bring it over here. 
in front of this bench and I'll just add some more beautiful goodies to it. So um, I will update you guys as I go along, but I just wanted to share with you what I've got going on and where I am and I may even um, use some of the seeds that I have here already. And here is the update. I bought this, these flowers from a sweet lady that grew her own local stuff and she told me that these flowers loved full sun. Okay? Do they look like they love full sun to you? They <laughs> are straight up dead. <laughs>